Hello and welcome to another Bad Comic Review. This time we are looking at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Urban Legends Issue 2. This is written by Gary Carlson, art by Frank Fosco, inks by Chance Wolf and Andrew Pepoy, colors by Adam Gazowski, letters by Chris Ialopoulos. I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. Original editor was Eric Larson, this editor is Chase Marotz, publisher Greg Goldstein. This is from IDW, but it was originally an Image Comics book. I don't don't think anything was changed. This is a much more mature, much more graphic take on the turtles. Much like the original series was from Mirage, where there was actual, like, people dying, stuff like that. So we start off with Donatello falling out of the helicopter, and one of the cyborgs is with him, and he's plummeting to the earth, and then we go back over to Lady Pim Pimiko, the cyborg that's with her, and we see the shark guy in a cage. She kills the cyborg guy and lets the shark eat him. Meanwhile, the turtles are going into a mausoleum. Mausoleum, where they have some little fun with each other, and they they take the sewer there. It's a mausoleum vault, so it's where they used to store caskets during the winter until they could bury them. And there's like a phone line in there that they can use and some other stuff. Well, Raphael's face is all chewed up, so Leonardo gives him one of Casey Jones's old masks. But the bad guys already know they're there; they were being followed. And we get a little cheap shot at Wolverine here with this. They try and wake this guy up that they were studying because this the point and capturing Splinter was they're trying to get people that have animal genetics with them, anthropomorphs. And this guy's known as the Weasel. And he's a Wolverine knockoff. They kill him right away. So that was a bit silly and weird. And Leonardo is trying to contact Master Splinter through the astral plane. And Raphael messes with him a little bit. But he manages to make contact with Donatello. Gets an idea where he is. Donatello's having like an out-of-body experience. He can't feel anything below his neck. But before Leonardo can really do anything the turtles are attacked in their new lair and the issue ends on a cliffhanger now since this is a reprint I'm not really spoiling anything it was a really good issue the art is a very odd style that generally i don't care for but the turtles look kind of neat and this is a much different take on the teenage mutant ninja turtles like i said previously this was in a weird spot in their history where the popularity of the, the series waned significantly even though this series was just starting the overall popularity of the turtles was on a bit of a downslope and the original series had been canceled for some time this was a much different take on it and they were taking it in much different directions than what eastman laird had done it really is kind of non-canonical because nothing from this series seems to have survived into the current ongoing series at idw this is just a sort of strange alternate take on the turtles that never really seemed to catch on but it's a pretty well done book it's it's very interesting because it is a, an artifact of its time but at the same time it's much better written than a lot of books today so i would recommend this that's kind of my take on it i'm not a huge fan of the art style but it does work for the turtles just not the humans so it's kind of a mixed bag but i did enjoy it more than i did in the 90s i think and we're going to continue to review it i've got issue three here we're going to look at that very shortly and i think issue four is due to come out soon so we'll look, be looking at that as well but as long it was only a 23 issue issue series and the 24th issue never got released and IDW is promising to do that. It does have a finite point to it so it's not going to be an ongoing thing. It's going to be an extended limited series that's really all i have on the matter i like the issue i thought it was good i thought it was worth four bucks even though it's a 20 year old book it still held up pretty well some of the humor is a little dated but beyond that still pretty entertaining read that'll do it for me as always thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you like the video hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss future reviews and we hope to see you on the next one